chapter 
make way before the King of Kings. Our God has come to say, He's here to set the captives free. Oh, who can stop the Lord?
Amen. Good morning. Go ahead and take a seat. Hello, Legacy Church. Nice to see you. My name is Thomas Langell, and I'm the pastor here. If I haven't met you, I would love to meet you after the service. This is our highlight moment, so you should have grabbed a bulletin when you came in. Grab a highlighter on the seat next to you. Find something on the back of your bulletin that you're going to either be attending or praying for this week. Hopefully, the first thing that you highlight is our totally awesome... Can we get this up here? Absolutely exciting, not boring at all, annual meeting that is coming up next Sunday. We want you there. This is going to be important. It's going to not only tell you about our uh, revised constitution that we're coming up with. I, I discovered when I came here that our constitution had stayed the same since the church was planted. And so one of the things that I was asked to do was help our board revise this constitution. So uh, we want to present that to you. We also want to present our bylaws. We want to present a new budget. We're going to also be presenting a brand new vision for a way that you can get more connected to Legacy Church as a legacy partner. So you want to be sure to be at that. We're going to be serving dinner and dessert. I was told this week that my um, eyes were a little bit bigger than our capabilities, so we're, we might not do an ice cream bar, okay? So that's what I was told. But we will have some sort of dessert, so I've got to put my foot in my mouth to that. Um, we're going to have some sort of awesome dessert. I just don't want you showing up with your bib, like your Farrell's bib. Do you remember Farrell's? All right. Uh, so make sure that you highlight that. That's going to be next week. Also, um, also, we want to let you know that Extravaganza is coming up. So every year, this is one of our biggest community outreach events. You know that it's well tended. Most of you have been here to this. Uh, we need to start collecting candy right now because we're going to have kids coming out by the hundreds and we want to make sure we've got enough candy for everyone. The one change this year is that we don't need Easter eggs, okay? So don't bring your plastic Easter eggs, please. Don't bring your plastic Easter eggs. Just bring candy and, uh, and we will take care of that and get that all set up for our extravaganza event. The last thing is that we are missing a few people this morning. And that's because right now we have 18 teenagers up at winter camp. Isn't that awesome? These are our teenagers. These are kids from Legacy Church who are hearing the gospel this morning, who are worshiping God right now up at Forest Home, who are experiencing God's creation. It's an amazing place. And so we just want to remember them in our prayers this morning and be grateful that no matter where we are in the world, when we worship Jesus, that we do it together as one community. Amen. All right, let's pray for, for us as we continue worship. Lord, we ask for your blessing over us this morning. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over us, that you would let your love flow down upon us. And Lord, as we think of these teenagers at winter camp, we just pray, Lord, that your blessing would fall down upon them in a unique and special way. We pray that this winter camp would be a transformative event. We pray that these students would experience your love in a new and fresh way that leaves them changed forever. I know every single one of us in this room, when we think about the first time we met you, Lord, uh, know that it's a transformative event. It, it's like seeing color for the first time, Lord. We will never see the world the same again. And so we pray for that moment for these students, that they would experience you in such a powerful way, Lord, that it would become undeniable, that, that no doubt would stand, no fear would stand, that, Lord, only your truth would break through and these teenagers would be changed forever. Lord, draw us into you today and make worship powerful, not because of our singing or our music or because of the lesson, Lord, but because of who you are. This time belongs to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Stand and continue to worship with me, please. I just want to speak the name of Jesus Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break 
Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Cause your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Over fear and all anxiety. Every soil cap by pressure. I speak Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray that you would speak to us through your word, Lord. Help us to apply it to our lives and be different because of it. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. To experience you in a new way this morning as we take communion and remember all the saints who have gone before us who have done the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Legacy, you know how we do this a little bit differently. If you're newer with us, then uh, you may be seeing tables uh, around the room. And what we'd invite you to do is, as the band plays here for just a few seconds, to go to the tables, grab the elements, the bread and the cup, take them back to your seat, and then I will come and lead us, and we will partake of those together in just a moment. So go ahead and get your communion elements. I often try to imagine what the disciples were thinking about in this moment of this very first communion and then what they were thinking about after the resurrection and as Pastor Thomas said and they had that aha moment of what, it, what he really meant when Jesus says this bread represents my body given for you. Take and eat. And then at the end of the meal, when everything had been consumed on the table and they talked about the history of the Passover and all of those other things, Jesus takes the cup. This cup represents my blood poured out for you. Your sin no longer exists in the eyes of God when we accept the forgiveness that comes with Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. So whenever you gather, and you remember my sacrifice for you. Take it and drink. Father, thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. The once and for all sacrifice and atonement for our sins. Help us to never take it for granted. May it never become old. Lord, thank you for loving us so much that you gave us your son as an offering of forgiveness for us. Now, Lord, would you take our tithes and our offerings, bless them, turn them in to do your will, to do your work, help us to know what you're up to and to join you in it as you reach a lost world. Lord, we love you. And we thank you for Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.
Raise this life up from the dead. Oh, praise the one who paid my debt. Raise this life up from the dead.
Hey man, I, I just wanted to remind you of something I, I forgot to mention earlier. There is a QR code on the back of your bulletin uh, for you to register that you're going to be at our annual meeting. So we got to know how many people are going to be there. I think we already have 70 people signed up. We'll have many more people there, but we got to know because we have to order food. So all you have to do, it's so simple. Take out your phone, open up your camera. When the camera sees the QR code, you don't even have to take a picture of it. Just hold the camera in front of it. It'll pop up a link that you click on that will let you that will take you to where you can register. It's really easy. Make sure you do that. And, uh, and now go out and have a great week and be blessed by the presence of God in your life. See you next week, Legacy.